If you want to avoid the annoyance of having to remove watermarks from your videos in Sora 2, this is the best technique to use. Here's how it works. Say I want to video a one-on-one -on -one basketball game. The video it gives me to download will have these Sora watermarks on it. But because the videos Sora creates are always of the same resolution, and because the movement of the watermarks have a predictable pattern, we can have Sora generate two identical versions of the same clip in a single video. Here is the prompt I used to do that. The description of the video I want, followed by, the video is split into two scenes at the left and right, and both should show the exact same sequence. Keep in mind that if you want your final video to be a portrait video, then you should select Landscape for making the video in Sora, and vice versa if you want a landscape video in the end, so select the opposite. When it's done, all you have to do once you download the generated video file is to go to any video editor and crop out each of these two individual clips from the same video and place them each on the same timeline on top of one another. Then, whenever the watermark shows up in the corner of either clip, remove that video layer for the duration of the watermark showing up. Since the watermark will only appear on one side at each frame, you will have a non-watermarked frame for each second of the video. And now, you have a complete video with no watermarks. If you're gonna make Sora generate a portrait video instead, meaning you want your final output to be landscape, then change the prompt to split the scenes into two at top and bottom instead of left and right. There is also a little difference in that there will be a portion of the video where the watermark is in the middle of both clips, but only half of it will be there, and it's going to be right at the edge of either clip, so you can just crop it out without much change to the look of the full video. And you can do this with image prompt videos as well. Go to an image editing tool like Canva and select a custom image size, 704 by 1280 if you're going to select portrait in Sora, and 1280 by 704 if you're going to select landscape in Sora. Divide the canvas into two of the same image that you want as your starting frame. The only thing I would recommend is that for portrait videos, you leave space between the two copies of the same image so that you won't have to crop out the middle watermark that shows up. And here's what we get when we give this image prompt to Sora.